This is Eternal Blade, welcome to part 44, the Space Marine Thunderfire Cannon, and it's going on and on and on. So, let's just create a box over here. Move it this way. And, um, I was thinking about having it connect over here, because that would actually make sense. Doesn't look like that in the drawing. But you know what? I'm going to not conform. Oops. So, come over to Editable Poly, select this, do some bevels on it, and just sink it right in. That way it's anchored. And then over here, select, oops, select that, inset. Okay, and extrude inward. Then to break that up a bit, we're gonna have um, cylinders in the corners. Just give it um, six sides. Perspective. Bring the height down. All right. There we go. Some of these things have like little shock absorbers or something. Um, we'll let's see here. Just pretend like there's little piston things or whatever hydraulics. Um, make a cylinder. 12 segments, it sinks right in there, uh, 12, copy it over, okay, just break up that empty space, and select both these polygons here, inset, okay, and extrude outward, just a bit. Down here, we are going to uh, kind of interesting things. Arc. Like, ooh, make an arc. Rotate it about 90. Even it up a bit. Play around with it. Then move it up. We have a cool little arc. I like that. Okay. Now that we have one of these done, the second one should in theory be a little bit easier. And actually I'm gonna let's see. Even these things up a bit. Next, let's um, select our spring mechanism and boom, copy it. Local, let's just scale it in. Actually, no, we don't even have to scale it in. Let's just move everything else in. And this piece. Do the same with this. Alright. Polygon. Let's just back it up. Then uh, perspective. 
active here. Select all these little pieces, including the arc. And then let's just copy it over here. I view and hope it fits. Of course, it doesn't. So select all of these and just move it over. That's one of the good things about 3D. If something doesn't fit, you can just move it. And just select, deselect. Um, looks good. I'll rotate this a bit more. Polygon, we'll bring that out a bit. Alright, that looks pretty cool. We got a nice little spring system going on here. And also, I'm looking over here and I see interesting stuff. So ring, connect, uh, increase the pinch there, shrink, extrude in the local normal, and just extrude it in a bit, and select those edges that are already selected magically, and chamfer them. And after a quick application of gray materials and black sublines, I believe our tracks are done. Mm. Oh. Okay. That sucks. There's supposed to be some little like indents on those tracks, but I don't want to do them. But you can do them if you want. Um, it just requires... Well, what you should really do with tracks is instance them all when you're copying. <coughs> so that when you alter one, the other one's an alter. And then you don't have problems like this. But, nonetheless. Going to the top view. Select all of our wonderful new tracks. Perspective, make sure you have them all nothing else. Go into the front view or whatever view. Boom. Copy. And mirror. And sync. Okay. Perspective. Start praying everything went right. I did. And look at that. That almost looks like a complete Thunderfire cannon. Almost. Let's actually mm, go in front again, just like this, this and that. Just link these to that piece right there. And then select them all over again. Front, move it over, near, and move it back. Okay. And the picture somehow gets it farther apart, but I guess we can try. So let's just move it to about there. Move it to about there. Looks kind of wide, but I guess from the picture angle, that is about right. And we'll connect that later with something. That'll be it for part um, 44. I'll see you in part 45.